In this video, let us continue to solve problems based on trigonometric ratios of compound angles. Uh, Alright, then here we've got a problem which says uh, prove that sine square A equals cos square of A minus B plus cos square B minus 2 cos of A minus B cos A cos B. Well, it, it might seem really messed up and confused, but you need to know one thing, if not anything, once you solve this problem. You cannot start this problem from LHS. You have nothing to work with. You need to start with the right hand side RHS. So start off with cos square A minus B plus cos square B minus 2 cos of A minus B times cos A cos B. That's how that's how we need to start off. With. So the next step is going to be cos square B. Take cos square B this side and try to just group it cos square A minus B minus 2 cos of a minus b times cos a cos b now the reason of grouping you'll note now so now write cos square b as it is plus if you consider these two terms right see that it's got one term the same cos of a minus b is same in both the terms but here it's got one extra but it doesn't matter you can just take it out take out cos of a minus b so it's going to be cos of a minus b. From cos square of a minus b, if you take a 1 cos of a minus b, it's going to be just cos a minus b. Minus 2 cos of a minus b is gone outside. So it's 2 cos a cos b here. Right? So the next step is going to be a little bit of expansion. Now using the formula cos of a minus b. In the bracket, let's use the formula for cos of a minus b, which is cos a cos b plus sine a sine b minus 2 cos a cos b right so what this does is it kind of reduces you see there's minus 2 cos a cos b and cos a cos b you know 1 cos a cos b will just go it gets subtracted so what we'll get is we'll get cos square b plus cos of a minus b and then 1 gets subtracted so you have sine a sine b minus cos a cos b right minus 2 cos a cos b plus cos a cos b is going to give you minus cos a cos b so here it is and then this is again a part of a formula right sin a sin b and cos a cos b but it's just a matter of sign difference otherwise so cos square b what you do is take the negative sign outside put it here it becomes cos of a minus b times cos a cos b minus sin a sin b so now I think you're familiar with what formula it is. It is, of course, cos of A plus B. So we're going to get cos squared B minus cos of A minus B. This whole thing will be written as cos of A plus B because that's what it is. Now this one, we got to continue from here. So cos squared B is going to remain cos squared B. Now you know there's another formula that we used. Cos of A minus B into cos of A plus B is nothing but cos square a minus sine square b kindly recall or go to the previous videos if you couldn't relate to that formula and next we've got cos square b minus into minus is plus sine square b minus of plus is minus minus cos square a so sine square b plus cos square b is going to be one so one minus cos square a so one minus cos square a is nothing but sine square a and here we have LHS. We started off with RHS and we've ended at LHS. So, you know, you really can't guess which is uh, what kind of a problem. So, again, what I'm trying to say is practice is the only thing. So, remembering formulas and, you know, grouping, taking out the common terms when required, all those things are pretty much the things to do. You know, all these things, of course, you know, were solved by trial and error method. But you don't want to waste time, you know, trying and not succeeding and then trying. Well, you can do that if you're like researching. Otherwise, from exam point of view, you, know, you just have to know, you just have to be smart to know what problem should be solved, how. So that ends this problem as well as this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems based on trigonometric ratios of compound angles.